Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing the five luxury must-haves in my collection tag that was created by the wonderful Jerusha Couture. So thank you Jerusha for tagging me to do this video. I love you, you're such a wonderful friend. I am actually going to Las Vegas in like one day so I wanted to hurry up and film this video. I'm not exactly sure when you're gonna be seeing this. I'll probably be back from Las Vegas by the time you see this video but I'm hoping that I come back with some goodies that I can show you and of course I'm gonna be vlogging my entire trip, so stay tuned for that as well. But for today, we're gonna go over my five must-haves in my collection, and the way Jerusha kind of explained it in her tag video is it's it's basically just five genres or just five things that in your current collection you're just using like crazy. So for me, this was really easy. Some things you might expect, some other items you might not expect, so let's just get started. I feel like everybody in the luxury community starts with a bag, so I thought I'd just switch it up, and I'm actually going to start with comfortable shoes. So these are two of my favorite comfortable luxury shoes. These are the Gucci Ace sneakers with the arrows along the side. And then these are my beloved Chloe Susanna boots. For the longest time, I really didn't want to invest in luxury shoes because you basically just walk in them. They get really dirty. They don't last as long as some of my other items. But what I came to find out is I just wear these and use these so much more than some of my other items. So why not splurge if I'm actually going to use it? And I don't splurge all the time by any means, but when it comes to comfortable luxury, I am far more likely to be using it on a very regular basis. I do have other designer shoes. They're mostly high heels and I do wear them, but not nearly as much as these. So this for me is a must have in my collection and I highly recommend purchasing some shoes you feel really good in and are really comfortable. All right, we'll just skip to the bag because let's just talk about this bag because I'm obsessed with it and you can probably guess what it is. It's my newest bag, which is the Chanel filigree flat bag. This is in the size small and it comes in the beautiful nude caviar leather with this beautiful black lambskin detailing and I just love crossbodies in general so I guess that's kind of what my next little genre is, is a good crossbody bag but for me even more so it's a nude crossbody bag and this one fits the bill so perfectly because it fits so much stuff but yet it's very easy to use and it just screams my style because it has the neutral color scheme. I love the classic little flap back here. I love how it has a magnetic closure. I mean, I'm all about the classic Chanel turnstile lock, but I must say this is so much easier. It's not a snap closure. It's actually just a magnetic closure, so I really don't have to work at it at all. I love the chain strap, but it also has a very comfortable shoulder pad as well. And then, like I mentioned before, it holds all of my essentials and then some. So for me, this is a favorite and a must-have in my collection. <clears throat> and I'm so sorry about my voice. I feel like I'm getting laryngitis, which is super annoying considering I am going on a trip in like a day. I hope I don't get sick. I don't really feel sick. I just feel like my throat is really messed up. I can hear it in my head, so maybe you guys can pick up on it. I'm not really sure. But the next must-have item in my collection is a mini wallet. I know you guys probably expected me to say this, and you probably also expected me to say my six ring key holder, because I feel like I mentioned that particular SLG or small other good in like all of my videos, but I decided to switch it up and I did not include that in this video, but I am including this Chanel mini wallet. And the reason this is so essential to me is because I am a handbag lover. So I am constantly switching out my handbags. I do it all the time. And for me, I realize having a full size wallet just really isn't practical for my lifestyle because I go from really big bags to really small, tiny bags to medium bags. And this just fits everything. It fits my cards, it fits my money. I have some change in here. I can throw receipts in here. It's surprising how much it can actually hold and it's just so easy. The snap closure is amazing. The caviar leather is amazing. I just love this little thing to death. I also have a Kate Spade mini wallet that I've actually been using kind of just on a rotational basis. And again, I just love it because of its miniature size. The next item that is a must have in my luxury collection are actually my Cartier jewelry. So this is the Cartier love bracelet and this is the Cartier love ring. And I wear this jewelry 
every single day. I think about it every single day. Every single time I'm typing on my computer, I'm writing something, I move my hand and I notice it. I legitimately appreciate this jewelry so much every day. I know this was pretty expensive. It was a gift from my husband. They both have extremely special meaning to them. And it's just something that I, I honestly, out of everything in my collection, like literally everything in my collection, this is what means the very most to me. So I kind of want to add another Cartier piece because I just get, I mean, I literally get use out of it every single day. It probably is the best bang for my buck as far as cost per wear. And I don't know. So I might look at some while I'm in Vegas. I'm not really sure. I have some ideas, but this is definitely number one on my list. I probably should have talked about it first. Alrighty, so we are on to the fifth and final must have item in my collection. And you might be surprised at what it is. But again, it's kind of like what Jerusha said. It's the current favorite things that I'm using and I must have in my collection. And what that is, because it's summer, my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack. I've said time and time again, I love backpacks in the summer just because we're out and about, we're going to parks, we're going to the zoo, we're walking around the city, we're doing so much stuff outside. It's just so nice to pack juice boxes or napkins or anything in here for like a long summer day. And this is so incredibly withstanding of just like the weather, moisture, dirt, like anything. This is just the best. I know people sometimes get hung up on this particular zipper because it can be a little bit more difficult than many of the other Louis Vuitton handbags. But the thing is, it, it literally will tell you if someone's trying to get into your bag or rob you because it's not as smooth and fluid as some of the others, which again, I feel is a really good thing. So I highly recommend this. This is in the PM size, so you do have an option to go even larger if you think this one is too small. But for me, I think this is the perfect size and definitely a must have in my collection. So that does it for this video. This is one of like the easiest videos to film in like a really long time. I had a lot of fun doing it. So again, thank you, Jerusha. And I am going to now tag some of my friends to do this video. So of course I'm going to tag Lux Mommy, Amanda. She is another amazing friend to me. I truly appreciate her. I'm also going to tag Carol Summer. I'm going to tag KW Shops. I'm going to tag Hey June. I love her too. I also want to tag Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover. She is such a sweetheart. And then Jerusha tagged a lot of other awesome people as well. There's so many awesome people out there in general. So if you see this video and you want to do the video and you are a YouTuber, then I definitely tag you as well. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And then comment down below. What are your thoughts? What are your favorite items? I love communicating with you guys and responding to comments. So that really, really makes me happy. So I will see you very soon in many of my upcoming videos because I have a lot of content. So thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye.